Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the June release blog hop with Pinkfresh Studio and I have a beautiful floral project to share with you featuring the new Peony Fantasy products and I'm going to walk you through. Now you know how the uh, Pinkfresh Studio has like these little bundles or collection. So these are all the Peony Fantasy products. You have the hot foil plate, you have the stamp set, and I love the back of the packaging. It shows you what it looks like. You have the coordinating layering stencil set. And then lastly, the coordinating die. These work beautifully together, but of course you can use them individually if you don't want to buy the whole collection. I'm going to start with a hot foil plate. I'm using, I believe this is called Aurora Hot Foil by Spellbinders. I have some hammer mill white cardstock and my glimmer foil machine. I let it get nice and hot. And then I learned this from Leah watching her. Uh, she pulls it out, then she adds her plates, runs it through the die cutting machine, and she has she seems to have really good results. So I listen, I am always watching, learning, and trying. It did foil beautifully. There was a little bit of overfoiling, but I took a little adhesive eraser, which I'll show you here in a sec, and kind of removed some of that overfoiling. Listen, I'll take overfoiling any day over under foiling. Okay, so I'm just going to temporarily adhere this foiled panel down. Here's my adhesive eraser that I just gently go over some of those areas that had the over foiling and it does remove it if you're careful. Um, by the way, my goofy fourth inch post-it tape, that was a mistake on my end. I love post-it tape, have for years, but I found it's gone up in price and I'm a cheapskate. But I found a really good price, I thought, on Amazon. So I bought a few rolls, and then when it came, I realized, oh, it's a fourth of an inch wide. No wonder it was so cheap. I want the inch wide, you know, but I don't want to pay $8 a roll for it. I remember back in the day, I used to be able to pick it up at the grocery store, and it was like $2 a roll, and I, and I loved it. Those were the days. Now it's like, what? Why is it $8 a roll? I'm too cheap for that. Okay, but I need a temporary adhesive to hold my down my stencils. I don't know. Anyway, I did the first... Um, now, I know that these uh, stencils are probably numbered. I usually don't even bother to go in numerical order. I just kind of... I'll find the ones that are for the leaves. I'll find the ones that are for the blooms. And I work like that. Okay, so my first stencil I use mint. Now I'm on uh, the next one, and these are the detail for the leaves. I'm using, Mer uh, what was it, meadow. And then a few of these little openings are for the centers of the peony blooms. So I'm doing a little marigold. These are the detail little brushes that I'm using from Pink Fresh Studio, which I love. What I really love is the packaging, you know? You probably don't need to keep them in the packaging, but why would you not? Because... It brings me joy just to slide that box open and use those beautiful little brushes. Okay, stencil three, not that they're numbered, but this is the third detail for these leaves. This time I pulled out aquamarine. So I did mint, meadow, and aquamarine. These are all Pink Fur Studio inks. And I love um, doing like a little twist -a rooney with the leaves instead of doing green pull out aquamarine you know what i mean live your life i'm going to do that. that's what i'm going to do from here on out i'm going to try to use unconventional colors for my leaves just just to spice it up okay now we're going to work on the peony blooms and you know as usual of course you could do this all one color you know and i'm starting with coral reef but i want to like spice it up so i'm going to do a couple blooms with coral reef couple blooms with sparkling rose and then i'm gonna do a couple blooms with um i'll let you know here in a second <laughs> what the color is by the way i'm using all pink for studio inks what do we got here peach fuzz you know what i think of when i hear peach fuzz have you seen these women nowadays who shave their face with these little pixie razors and they shave off the peach fuzz because they say it makes their makeup go on so smooth and I don't really have a whole lot of hair on my face. I'm, I don't like. I don't know why, but maybe it's the Italian in me. I don't have a lot of hair. But if I did, I don't know if I'd have the guts to shave it. I'd be worried 
that I'd get a beard or something. I don't know. Like, but I'll tell you, these women that do it, they look beautiful. And I do, I don't know if you like, like, I feel like makeup is just another artistic expression. So I love watching makeup, you know, makeup reels on Instagram. I like, I like eyeshadow and all that fun stuff. I, I like hair. Not that I, you know, whatever. I like watching it. But I don't think I'd have the guts to shave the peach fuzz. Anyway, moving on to the next color. We're giving more detail to the peonies. So for the coral reef ones, I added passion fruit for the detail. And um, bubble gum. And, well, you saw while I was blabbing away. I'm adding the darker and darker shades. Now we're on the last one. I'm going hot and heavy for the darkest shade. I'm still using passion fruit. But I'm putting a little more elbow grease into it to really get that poppin red color which i love now for the detail on the pink blooms a little raspberry bliss okay now the pink blooms are always my favorite i don't know why but you know what when you put the pink next to the red next to the orange next to the, it makes it even prettier that's what i think anyway you know but you do you if you want to make these all one color just as beautiful there's a lot of variation and um you know play around with it okay last little one doing marigold on the yellow little pe peonies by the way i've said this in past videos peonies were the blooms that i used in my wedding and i love them i had these like soft peachy creamy peony big bulbous peonies and we had navy dresses and it looks so pretty with these soft peachy peony bouquets. Okay, probably didn't need to know that information, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. Okay, I'm going to create a little frame for my sentiment using one of these little nested circle dies. Now I'm stamping a sentiment in black ink, which is from the Best Thing stamp set, also in the new June release. And I'm just going to start assembling this card. And allow, I've had a lot of people ask for updates on Hank and Frank. So I thought now would be a great time to give you a little update. Here's how it's looking lately. They are starting to get along a little bit better. It's not great, but it is better. Now here's um, a little video. This is kind of what it's like. Hey, Hank just doesn't know how strong he is. He's a beast, but it's friendly nudges and Frank ain't interested. Frank ain't interested in being besties. But he will tolerate him if he's really, really tired. I don't know. I feel like we've come a long way. You know, baby steps. People said it would take a while. Now, Frank, which is my son's cat, was supposed to go back to Germany. But uh, you know how I've said this. He, Bo, my son, would let him out at night. By the way, I'm zhuzhing the leaves and adding a few little embellish embellishments. And this card is finished. But... Long story short, the cat did not make the flight to Germany because he was out in the woods. And now Frank is at our house, here to stay. I don't know what's going on. He was supposed to go back to Germany. But uh, needless to say, here's my card, Peony Fantasy. Make sure and check out the rest of the June release with Pink for Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.